Remember, we stop asking for more once we feel there's a chance we'll receive too many to carry. This will be a bit of a guessing game. First, we'll ask for some plates. Now, if we ask for more plates and get more than we can carry, well, the organizer will not be too fond of us. Very risky at this point. Who's the best choice to please the audience this time? We won! But do we think we can do it again? We won! But do we think we can do it again? We trust our eyes, we'll win the prize. What strategy should we employ? Doesn't hurt. You like where you are? Me too. <laughs> oh, that stings.
we trust our eyes, we'll win the... What strategy should we employ in sliding our coins this time? Defenses.
You requested an audience, Dr. Ohm. We're all here. Everyone but Eli. Good. I want everyone to hear my words. You didn't get us together to kill us with one of your explosives, did you, Ollie? <laughs> How terribly anticlimactic. <laughs> Fun fact, old friend. You are already dead. That is certifiably neither fun nor a fact, old man. Old man? Oh, oh you're gonna love this one. I'm not even born yet. Stop speaking in riddles. Unless they're really, really funny. I can state it no more plainly than this. I hail from the future. I'm stranded in this hellhole of a past. The future? Here come those details you've been whining about. Explain what you mean by coming from the future. Ironically, to explain coming from the future, I must fully explain my past. Yes, before you got to London in 1873, what did happen first? The years 2276 through 2313, at least for me. I'm still nearly four centuries from birth. The world is unfathomably different. Frankly, I'm amazed I've survived such barbaric times for so long. Did you come in a time machine? And why here? Why now? My dear, I invented the time-traveling device that got me here. The world's first ever. Though I must admit, ending up in the era that invented the concept of such a device in science fiction was not my intention. Then why aren't you where you meant to go? I... missed. You missed? You must understand, uh, with new technology comes unforeseen difficulties. I had made a few mistakes in my field in prior years. High profile calves. The ones that wrongfully, I assure you, ostracized me from the scientific community. So I exiled myself and invented the time traveling device in secret. I would use it to travel back to a time before said mistakes were made and to reveal my invention to a world in awe. Ah, so you meant to go back to, what, maybe uh, 2300? But you landed in 1873 instead? Wrong, wrong, wrong! I meant to go back to 2303! Uh, but, uh, yes, I landed 440 years too early. But with that, 440 years of advanced knowledge, which birthed the Ohm Manifesto, the Spark, and eventually our current situation. Why didn't you just go back to the future? No fuel. No replacement parts that haven't been invented yet. You see why I had to light the Spark? Is the future the home you've described wishing to return to? Initially, yes. But do you expect me to return to a world that would be totally unrecognizable to me thanks to everything I've achieved here? As much as I appreciate the irony, no thank you. I'd much prefer a time, say, about 11 years ago. A time when Randolph can die and I can live happily ever after with Shonda. Oh, silly me. I forgot I'm already dead. You're assuming you've succeeded and have proceeded to murder me. That's quite the paradox, you potty doc. You asked me where home is, Amelia. You have my answer. You understand my past. You understand my motives. Yet questions remain. Why the maddening? How do you know you won't screw up going to the past again? <laughs> yeah, I know. Such answers are much better revealed in person. If you can even reach me. Against such a grand failure as yourself, not a problem. A failure? We're all thinking it. Yes, the revered Dr. Ohm, the man who lit the spark to the modern age. He's just one big, fat, yet incredibly short, mind you, failure. 
shunned by his actual peers. You owe everything to me! On the contrary, had you never invaded our era, I'd still have a sister. I'd still have a mum. You can't say that. No, that is not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault! He left. Well then, let's go find him.
failure. Fascinating. Get too wet. It is a little.
This is one of my favorites. We've reached a botanical garden, which should have a plentiful selection of herbs to mend our wounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound very peaceful in there. Jolly good show! Big Ben, we salute you. Eerily empty streets as we near the construction site. No crazed bobbies, killer mimes, all raving muggers in sight. I have time to think. 
It's been just a few weeks since I laid my eyes on that circus electric sign. I was angry. I was angry because I was scared. Scared to face the past I'd buried so deep inside. Since then, the world's gone crazy. I have seen things beyond my imagination. I've put my life in danger to unravel the story of the century. About the time-traveling mad scientist who turned London into a war zone. These were the craziest weeks of my life, but in some ways, these were the best ones too. I have found new friends. I have found answers, even some painful ones. And I have found family. We arrive at Steam's construction site. Something huge looms in the darkness ahead of us. Maybury's last and biggest surprise leaves me in shock. He is desperate to take from me what I just found. I won't let that happen.
My pain, your gain. Don't it make you smile? Feels good, don't it?
ne 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 May the healing light find you.
would never approve of any of this. I will save her, much as my manifesto itself has saved the world of your future. Saved? You've killed hundreds of innocents, driven thousands more mad. Yet starvation and poverty pale in comparison to the 1899 of my reality. Worldwide, millions have me to thank. He'll never even know it. And I'm not even gonna start explaining how I've nullified climate change to your pea brains. I mean, I grew up next to beachfront property in Atlanta. Not to be pedantic, but you did just start to explain your climate change concept to our pea brains. Not to be pedantic, but you're about to die. I am your shield, friends. <laughs> 